Hello, seventh graders. I'm back again with another lesson slash reading of an article that I've posted on my website. Uh, today I will be reading to you an article um, about the First Amendment. This video, audio video, goes with the lesson posted on my website for March 26, 2020. So without any further t delay, let's get started. Okay, so you should hopefully now have the article in front of you. Um, it's located on my website under March the 26th, and it is titled The First Amendment. So please follow along with me. And here we go. It says, The First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Okay, so here's what you need to know. I'm going to circle this. This first part is what it actually says in the Constitution um, about the First Amendment. This is what the First Amendment does. So you guys know that when we normally have conversations, we don't use language like this today. Now, they may have done that back in 1776, but we don't really talk like this today. So the next two paragraphs really breaks down what the First Amendment does. So let's go. Next paragraph, it says, First Amendment addresses the rights of freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, and freedom of petition. Okay. So basically what that means is that you can believe in whatever religion you want. You can say mostly everything you want. And remember mostly because we're going to read the next paragraph and you're going to see why I say that. Freedom of press. So... That means the press has a right to report. The press, meaning like the news, uh, the people you see on TV talking about the coronavirus. Um, freedom, to freedom of assembly, so that means you can have a peaceful gathering. And the freedom of petition. So you can basically petition, which means you can go around and have people petition sometimes it means signing a piece of paper that says you either agree with something or you don't disagree or you disagree with something things like that um next paragraph here we go even though these laws are clearly given to us they come under certain limitations for example you have freedom of speech but you cannot say something that would endanger people like yelling fire in a crowded room. Yeah, probably not the best idea. Not only is this a bad thing to do, but it is illegal. Illegal. It is also illegal for us to say things about people that are not true. This is known as slander and is also illegal. These limits and regulations placed under the freedoms of the First Amendment were meant to protect us and our rights. Okay, so here's a very good example about freedom of speech. Yeah, you can say what you want, but you can't say things like yelling fire in a crowded room. That's bad, and it's illegal. Um, you also cannot say things about people that aren't true. Hmm, I bet you didn't know that. And they have a name for that. It's called slander. And it is also illegal. Okay? So that's the First Amendment, short and sweet. Let's pop over to the questions. Um, we only have to do one and two, so don't even worry about three. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to cross that out so you guys don't worry about that. You can answer these on a piece of paper. Here's what number one says. What freedoms does the First Amendment give us? I want you to list three. We have three lines. One, two, three. List them. Number two, what are limitations placed under 
the First Amendment. So that's when I was talking about, oops, I was talking about how you can't yell fire in a crowded room, things like that. So go ahead and hit pause, answer these questions, save all your paperwork for when I finally get to see you again. And have a nice day, stay safe, and stay safe, and don't touch your face.